Hey there, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're going to take some a look at some of the games for the NHL for March the 20th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section here. That has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games. New York and Philadelphia. I'm not going to take a look at all of these, just some of the more key games for the weekend. The Dallas Stars and the Washington Capitals. Washington comes into play burning hot at 8th in the Eastern Conference. You can see they have won 5 out of their last 6 games. While Dallas is averaged down at 9th in the Western Conference, you can see that they are 3-3 three and three over their last 6 games. If you take a look at the last six games, as far as the over-under goes, Dallas has been involved in games over the line four times, while Washington has been involved in games over five times. That's a good indication that this game could go over the line. Let's see what the score prediction shows. The score prediction shows Washington the 3-1 to one edge, but only 48% level of confidence. Take a look at that again as you get closer and closer to game time. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that Washington is at plus 21, while Dallas is at plus 12. The stability factor, how consistent are the teams performing according to their favored underdog status, Dallas is at plus 11. You can see they're on a general upward trend. While Washington is at plus 6, you see they have been up and down. You can see they were at plus 8 um as of january 22nd now they're just plus six so you can see that they have been a lot more uh inconsistent over that time period so the way i look at this though even though that washington has been more inconsistent i do like them at the moment the way they are playing now they're playing much better than dallas they are at home i believe that they will win this game probably by two goals and i like this game going over the line new york rangers and the carolina hurricanes Here's another good matchup here in the Eastern Conference, probably the game of the day. The Hurricanes enter with the second seed in the conference, while the Rangers are fifth. Right now, Carolina's average status, they are coming off of a loss to Pittsburgh, but they have won four out of their last six. The Rangers are burning hot at the moment. They have also won four out of their last six and are on a two-game winning streak. You see here the Rangers have been putting up a lot of goals, as have the opponents, in a streak of five consecutive games over the line while carolina has been involved in games over the line in two out of the last six so with the uh, conflicting uh things going on there one more games over one more games under i kind of like to avoid the over under in that one but i might uh hint a little bit towards the under i'm looking at the score prediction here carolina three new york rangers two and almost 80 percent level of confidence 79.4 so that's a pretty high level of confidence the power ranking indicator shows here that the Hurricanes are at plus 30. The Rangers are at plus 27. So both teams near the top of the league in that category. The stability factor. Both teams, again, right at the dead level. Uh, the same thing at plus 21. Both teams are consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. The Rangers should be an underdog on the road. Uh, even though they've been playing better lately, I think the Hurricanes will win this game. It could be a game that goes into overtime. I like the game going under the line. I believe I'll go under on this one. Coyotes and the Sharks. Winnipeg Jets and the Blackhawks. Now, this is an interesting game, even though both teams are near the bottom in the Western Conference. But the Jets have been burning hot. And they still have a, an outside shot at the playoffs. See, they are 11th in the conference. But they have won four out of their last six. The Blackhawks are ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that the Jets have been involved in games over the line in five out of the last six games. And you can see why when you see that they have put up seven goals in two of those last six games. While opponents have put up five goals and four goals and also three goals. So there's been a lot of goals being scored here. As far as Chicago, they have also been involved in high-scoring games, five out of the last six games going over. So this is a game to bet over the line. The score prediction pretty much says the same thing. With the prediction, Chicago 4, we want to pay 3 with confidence in prediction of 66%. The power ranking indicator shows Winnipeg was at plus 17. They have dropped to plus 11. While Chicago was at 1, just... Uh, what, five days ago, and now they are at plus six. The stability factor. 
can see here more consistently stable is Chicago, more of an upward trend, a little bit down at times, but mostly have an upward trend at plus 18. But look at the line here for Winnipeg, down, up, down, way up here to plus 10, then way down, you know, down to like plus 4, and now they're leveled off at plus 9. So not as stable. What I like in this one is I think Chicago is going to take this one at home, even though they haven't been playing as well. I think Chicago is going to win this game perhaps in the overtime, and this will be a game betting over the line. Buffalo and Vancouver. This is the last game we want to look at for the day. Buffalo burning hot coming in. Winners of four out of their last six, while Vancouver is average up. You can see they are coming off of a two-game losing streak with a 6-3 win over New Jersey. The power rankings indicator shows Vancouver at plus 17. And you can see here, Buffalo was at plus 12 just the beginning of the month. They dipped all the way down to one, and now they have increased again a little bit. Now they're at plus five. The score prediction has Vancouver by a 4-2 margin with about 52% level of confidence. That 4-2 score would be a game going over the line. And you can see that the teams have been trending in games over the line. Buffalo and four out of their last six have gone over. And Vancouver's games have gone over in five out of the last six. So I like over the line as well. I think the Sabres have too much, though, for Vancouver to handle. So I think the Sabres will get a road win. And again, in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are all the games for March 20th in the NHL. Happy betting, and again, we will see you next time.